Hello there and welcome to Storybook Crafts. This week I'm going to be doing a simple craft, but a really fun one, inspired by one of my recent favorite books. This is Her Right Foot by Dave Eggers with art by Sean Harris. And in keeping with the art in the book, which was a lot of it made by paper cutouts, we're going to be using just paper. So I've got a toilet paper roll here and some tissue. You may use glue if you'd like, but you really don't even need glue. The only other things you will need are paint and a paintbrush, or if you don't have green paint, you can use green paper. So check out this book. I highly recommend it. There is a wonderful ebook version as well on Hoopla, um, but the book itself is just fabulous. You will learn things and you will be entertained. So how are we going to make the Statue of Liberty's torch? We need, as I mentioned, a toilet paper roll. I used green tempera paint, um, and the reason for that is, as you can see, when it dries, it turns this lovely copperish green. And I like this craft because, as you'll find out in the book, spoiler alert, the Statue of Liberty started out brown and over time oxidized and became bluish green. So not only is this a craft that's fun, but it is representative of its subject. So we need that toilet paper roll. You could also use a paper towel roll, of course, if you want a longer torch. We need the green tempera paint or some green, tissue got wet, no big deal, or some green paper to cover your roll. If you don't have green tempera paint or green paper, go ahead and just color some scratch paper. This would work great too for the body of the torch. All right, and lastly, of course, some tissue paper. I'm using orange and yellow today. You may use just one, you may use both. Red would also look nice. All right, so first step, oh, of course, paint brushes. And it's always handy to have some water uh, close by and some paper towels as well. So first step, let's paint our tube. I'm gonna shake my paint a little bit here just in case it's been sitting for a little while. Shake it up, paint it on. And the nice thing about painting tubes is you don't need to get your fingers dirty at all. Stick your fingers inside the tube, brush that paint on. Looks really green now, but when it dries, it too will oxidize and become a nice copperish blue. All right, almost there. Goes pretty quickly. You only need one coat of this. And it dries in about mm, less than an hour, depending on where you're at. It might dry in about 20 minutes if you put it out in a nice sunny spot. Uh, if you put it outside, just make sure it's not gonna blow away. It gets a little windy around here sometimes. Um, but if you're inside and letting it dry, it might take up to an hour if it is not in a sunny spot. But I can't imagine it would take more than that. All right, we are painted. We will set that aside and let it dry. I will put my paintbrush in the water. I'm all done with that now. And here is my dried tube. Doesn't that look awesome? Totally looks like it's oxidized copper. I love it. Here is the tube that I covered with green paper. Also looks like oxidized copper. So either one is great. If you don't have that paint, just go ahead and use paper. And how did I fold the two colors? to look like that. Well, first, I'm gonna make sure my surface isn't wet. Oop. Wipe away any paint I just spilled. Okay, because I don't wanna get my tissue wet. I will lay one piece this way, one piece this way, and I'm just gonna go ahead and roll. Roll it into a little cone, just like this. So we've got one side it's a little longer than the other there. Roll it up into a cone. Simply fold it just like that. Fold it a little bit here at the bottom to fit inside your tube. And stuff it inside. 
Look at that, we're done. Easiest craft ever and yet so elegant, so powerful, lovely. Have fun making the Statue of Liberty's torch. Please check out Her Right Foot from the Alameda Free Library and check us out next time on Storybook Crafts.